one of the most powerful ways to use the Travel Time plugin in QGIS is to use it in conjunction with all the other pieces of functionality that QGIS comes with it. Um, and I'm just going to show you one example of that, and that is to do a population catchment analysis. So working out what the population is within a certain travel time of a location. So the first thing we need to do is to use the, uh, the travel time quick time map tool to create a reachable area. So say we're interested in public transport within 30 minutes of um, a London address. Um, incidentally, you could run this off, um, off a layer of points. Um, I'm just doing the, the quickest one, which is off just entering an address. So we now have our, our reachable shape and let's just rename that. So this is our catchment area. Now I also have a file in here, which is um, a layer of all the postcodes in the UK. And each of these postcodes has um, a population associated with it from the UK census in 2011. And to create the, um, or calculate the reachable population, all we need to do is filter these postcodes based on this catchment area we just created. And there's a tool in QGIS called Clip, which does exactly that. So our input layer, we select uh, the data we want to filter. So this is our population data. Our overlay layer is the one that we want to use to do the filtering. So it's our catchment area. And we hit run. So yeah, I stress this, this clip tool is not something that we've built. It's part of QGIS, um, but it's a great way of leveraging um, the catchment areas created using the travel time tools with other data sets. Um, and you could run whatever points of information uh, data you have, uh, you could run that through this tool using a catchment area and then filter it based on what's reachable. So now we have all of the postcodes that are reachable within that catchment area. And what we can do is if we open up this attribute table, we can see what these postcodes are and we have some demographic information associated with these, crucially one of which being total persons. So if we just exported this table, summed up this total persons uh, field, that would give us uh, the population that's reachable from that point within that, within that catchment area.